So hi everyone. In this video, we're gonna be deriving uh, the types of costs functions, at least uh, the three most basic types. And uh, we're gonna stem it from the fact that we're gonna derive them knowing uh, the conditional demand functions that we derived in the last video. So if you haven't seen that video, uh, check that out first. And then um, you're gonna get a better idea of these three cost functions um, if, you, if you watch that video. So we'll go first to the total cost function, which is the most straightforward. So we know that cost is equal to our input price for labor times labor plus our input price for uh, capital times uh, capital. Okay. And the total cost function shows that for any set of input costs and for any output level, the minimum cost incurred by the firm is just going to be equal okay, to C is equal to W times our conditional demand for labor. So that's a function of W, R, and Q. Plus our rental rate of capital times our conditional demand for capital. Okay. And essentially, okay, uh, it means that this total cost function will have a, some function of, uh, will be some function of input prices and output. So again, the total cost function shows for any set of input costs, so that's W and R, and for any output level Q, that the minimum cost will be achieved. So how do we know that the minimum cost is achieved? Because we plugged in our conditional demand functions and our conditional demand functions are the solutions to the cost minimization process. Now, the average cost function is very similar to our conception of an average is, and what we do is we find that by computing for total costs. So we need to use the total cost function and we're going to divide that by uh, the unit of output. So this is going to be AC is equal to, uh, so this is a function of W, R, and Q. This is going to be equal to your total cost function. Right? So that's this one divided by Q. Okay? And that's your average cost function. Okay, so let me just box them. Okay, then you have your marginal cost function, and this is found by computing the change in total costs for a change in output. So say the production target was increased or decreased, um, what would be the change in the total costs? And essentially, it's found by taking a first order partial derivative of the total cost function with respect to Q. So that's MC is equal to MC, which is some function of input prices and output. And that's just equal to the first order partial derivative of the total cost function with respect to Q. And that's your marginal cost function. So these are our three most basic types of cost functions. You have your total cost, your average cost, and your marginal cost. 